Is that the worst one you ever done? Or what's the worst vehicle no, you've ever had to no, do? No, no, no. Like, what is the nastiest one you've ever had to do? Because I had one, and luckily we got out. We, you know, it's, we we got out of it. But it was a, you know, the guys at Hot Shot. Yeah, yeah. What Hot Shot is? Anyone that's listening, you guys are. You, make sure you guys like and subscribe. You guys are listening, but if this guy was a Hot Shotter, which is company has a pallet full of something, right? Bricks that they need hauled from St. Louis to Kansas City. And they don't want to have to call a semi truck. They come and pick it up and take it all the way there. And they need it delivered that day. Yep. It's an important load. They got to take it there that day. And so this guy was hot shotting. And I think he also did campers. I think he did like RVs and campers. That's a big. Where he hauled back and forth. He It was just him, himself. I think it was like this Ford. This is years ago. But this, it was like a Ford F350 extended cab dually. And it, the dude lived in it with his cat. Oh, really? He brought his oh. cat along. You know, I've seen dogs, but I, this was a cat, which any animal in your car full time is shedding like crazy. Yeah, that's bad. But he he had filled the whole entire back with just like McDonald's bags and all kinds of food. And, all, and the whole entire back was filled up to the ceiling. So it was an extended cab filled all the way to the ceiling. And then the passenger seat was the exact same way. He had a cubby. In the trash, just nooked out for his cat to sleep in. Starting to sound like my old lady's car. Dude, it was <laughs> disgusting. It was the grossest thing I had ever, like, even the, the raunchy smell. Oh, yeah. That when you opened up the door, it would, like, knock you back. Rotten fruit and grease. Oh, yeah, it was just. <laughs> Sweaty feet. Yeah, and it was on the dash. Like, they, I don't even think, I don't even think the cat laid on the trash anymore. I think the cat slept on the dash. But it was hair. It was cat hair. But you could, we like just looking through there. I remember seeing, like the cat would just crap in the truck. Oh. So you have cat crap. You have old food. You have trash, and it, it was, it was. I don't know how someone honestly even worked out this thing. I like. I would think they would get sick. I think the worst vehicle that I've had had to do with mold, and what it was is this the um, what do they call that sunroof mm -hmm. didn't seal. In this mm -hmm. car, and it, yeah. it sat at a automotive shop for like five years waiting to get fixed. It had some other issues or whatever. Five years is a long time to let something sit. Yeah. Well, I think that's how long it took them to pay the bill off. Ah, uh, okay. So, I got it, and man, mold everywhere. Mm -hmm. There was grass growing in the carpet. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, <laughs> it was terrible. And the smell, you know, you had... You ever walked into a really wet basement? Yeah. And it just smells like soured water. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's what it smelled like. Yeah. So do you replace the carpet, or do you do you pull it out and brush so, and wash it, shampoo it? In cases like that, I will pull the seats, pull the carpet, pull the trim. I will power wash everything. Mm -hmm. Soap it, scrub it, power wash it, rinse, wash, repeat. It's the only thing, you, other than replacing it, you have to do that. Yeah, you have to. I mean, it's. It's not a fun process. It's kind of tedious, really, but uh, I mean, it's it's a good money maker. I was just thinking about like another car, because I, I did body work from 16 to like 27, 28 years old. Right. And I remember working in a body shop one time, and I can't remember why this this car came in. Oh yeah, it's, they had a they had a mouse in it. That's what it was. It had a mouse, and. They thought the best, what, I'm trying to think what they did first. They did two different methods. They had two methods to this madness. It was the craziest thing I've ever seen. But they had put, they first put, uh, because they couldn't catch this mouse, you know, they tried putting traps and stuff in and it didn't work. Right. So then I think they just locked their cat in it. Their cat or their dog. One of the animals. They That's locked horrible. in, yeah, locked in the car. So then it had, you know, so the car is covered in this hair now. From this one animal but it didn't this animal didn't catch it i don't remember if it was a cat or dog but they locked it in it and it just i think it was actually a dog not even a cat but a dog they locked the dog in it and then that didn't work out so then they heard that goats would kill a, a mouse <laughs> so then they what they did was they in the it was an suv and they popped the, the the back hatch and they laid straw down in the back hatch and put a goat in it and the goat was eating the seats because it was just stuck in there with nothing else to do. Like, I mean, goats are goats will tear stuff up. They'll climb on your vehicles, all this stuff. And then they brought it to us to, to one, get rid of the mouse. 
And then two, fix all this other crap. And it was just, I mean, it, it literally looked like a, a stall, like a ball, yep. barn stall. And it had hay in it and all the seats were all chewed up. And it's like, what are you thinking? What are you thinking when you do this stuff? Mice are hard to get though. Yeah. I've, I've ran into a couple mice. Uh, mostly right there in the cabin filter area. You know, somebody, oh, yeah. they'll bring me a cabin filter. Yep. Like, hey, can you replace this? And most, you know, that's behind the glove box most of the time. And if it's an easy one to get to, I'll be like, yeah, you know, I'm a detail, not a mechanic shop, but I will, you know, it's like a guy come to me. He's like, Hey, can you replace this seat? Brought me a whole nother seat. It's like, yeah, you know, I charge $5 a bolt to take out. So 20 bucks. Yeah, I'll take it out. Um, so I did that. And, uh, but as far as like another thing that you ever seen a mouse in it. Or dead, mouse was cool. dead mouse. Oh, it was yeah, dead. dead. So it was mouse. stinking. Yeah, it was stinking real bad. Gotcha. It's, I couldn't. I knew what it was as soon as I opened the door. Mm -hmm. You know, because it, it smelled like mouse mm -hmm. shit and piss. Yeah. It, it, it's, yeah. Gross. Yeah. But uh, another thing that just come to mind. You you asked me about uh, one of the worst vehicles I did. I think that was my own one time. And the reason Your I own. Said, yeah. So, and that sounds crazy, but you know. I'm a pretty nice guy, pretty gullible sometimes, um, and I have a hard time saying no. So, a person once asked me if I could go get a cow for them. Okay. A baby cow. Yeah. I didn't have a trailer at the time. Uh -huh. So what did we do? We drove all the way up to Nebraska, Holy went and got cow. that baby cow, and put it in the back seat of my truck. Wow. You, you know what Scours is? Uh huh. I was okay. So it's like cow diarrhea. <laughs> okay. So and it smells Here absolutely it's horrible. Uh huh. Well, this thing crapped all over the back of my truck. Mm -hmm. Inside. All the way back from Nebraska too. All the way back. Like it. This happened as soon as we were leaving the farm. Uh huh. And I had to smell it. Yeah. These people. Like, <laughs> these people that you were picking the cow up from probably thought you were insane. Oh, 100 percent. You know. And I was agreeing with them. Like, yeah, I am insane this for doing dumb. this. Yep. This is dumb. This is dumb. And she's over here like, well, we'll just take it out and walk it like a dog and let it go to the bathroom. No, it don't work that way. Mm -mm. I had to take my door panels completely off to clean this thing because it had ran into my speaker holes. Oh, my God. And it was gosh. just everywhere. I had to take my seat out. I actually, yeah, it was so bad. Mm -hmm. So terrible. I actually took it to my buddy Austin up in Kansas City on the way down from Nebraska. Mm -hmm. I said, dude, clean this up the best you can. Mm -hmm. Like just clean it up the best you can. I will pay. I paid him like two hundred fifty dollars just to get the raw crap out of the back of my truck because I drove all the way from Nebraska to Kansas City with my head out the window. I believe it. Yeah, I, <laughs> I bet was it's gagging the whole way. <laughs> I bet it's dumb. It was man. terrible. It was because yeah, you drive by like like a dairy farm or a cow farm. That's what it was. Man. Little baby dairy cow. Reeks. Oh, bad. Reeks. Farm trucks are the worst, too. Oh, my God. I've done my fair share of cleaning. Boy. And, yeah, I mean, when I, the, the farmer's trucks are always the worst because they're in the mud, mm -hmm. in the field. It's mud caked up in the wheel wells. They're carrying the mud into the truck, and it's just caked all throughout the truck. Yeah. It's It gets, they get bad. The worst trucks I've ever seen are always farm trucks. Oh, yeah. Well, I just did one. It was a 2023 Chevy Dually or GMC. Mm -hmm. Nice truck. And it was a state trooper buddy of mine out there. And uh, he's like, you think you can get that thing clean? I was like, well, yeah. You know? And it all be cleaned up. Oh, um, yeah. But, you know, I got the... I didn't really... I, I took a gander at it, glanced at it. Yeah, I can do that. Then he's like, well, can you come pick it up and take it to your house and do it? I was like, yeah, that's fine. Uh, so I did. And I get there and I'm like driving this thing home, you know? I had my old lady drop me off and... I'm like, man, this thing's kind of dirty. How do you get this this dirty this mm -hmm. fast? It's a brand new truck, you know? Is he a farmer? Yeah, yeah. He, he, he works at uh, the Cuba Cell Barn and does, he's a state trooper as well. Okay. So, I mean, he's always, like the day that I dropped it off after the detail, he's like, all right, well, I'm going to go hook up to the cattle trailer and go haul some cows. I'm like, great. I'll see you next week. <laughs> so, so as soon as he picked it up, he's right back to work. Oh, yeah, 100%. But he's like, He's wanting to support my business, and it's a brand new truck, so he wants to keep up on it. So, sure. I mean, he'll probably bring it to me once or twice a month. 